Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Hey, guess what? This just in. Do you nerd for mail? I totally nerd for mail. I love getting things in the mail. Especially when there are packages. Ooh, big ones. And who is this from? BK! Brian, come! <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Our buddy BK is hooking us up yet again. And I don't think I even know what's in here. She came at me with a knife! One thing BK knows how to do is pack this stuff, and it looks like whatever's in here is very safe. Bubble wrap! Oh, we got a card. Card first. Oh, this is no Hallmark toss it in a drawer no, and then throw it out five years better. later. This is a handmade card. Look at that. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. Aw, thank you. <laughs> and. Oh, oh wow. check it out. Oh, Bill Cipher. Uh, I got some fans up in the house. So hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, a cat with legs. I bet Paul would like to have some tall legs like that. <laughs> P.S. You guys really are the best. Thanks, Tom and Lacey. Oh, from Sam. Thank you, guys. Oh, and... Control, yeah, getting the game on. Woo! A little, little kitty over here. We love whenever we get stuff, the notes, the letters, and everything mm -hmm. in there. So having a full color card like this, that's perfect. That's awesome. Oh no. Oh, okay, can't read that. There's some Japanese, but they translated it. It says, Thank you, Merry Christmas. And they drew us. Oh, oh cute. So for Maddie, oh. Mistletoe. Oh, oh. Oh, it still oh. works even when it's drawn. What? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're hooking him up. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's well. in the box. Little pops. I think this guy was sitting there across the pond. First of all, I think you sent us J-Love's package. <laughs> what evil lurks. Oh, I am already guessing this is going to be a very, very uh, dark yeah. beer. BK loves his dark stuff. Imperial and Stout with monster coffee, ooh. toasted coconut, toasted marshmallow, and Saigon Cinnamon. That All right. sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a numbered bottle. That it is. 912 out of 2,000. Holy nice. cow. That's not very many. No. So it's one pint and it is 13.5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> Every time so we do pints, all I can think of are hobbits. Is, <laughs> it comes in pints? It comes in pints? Oh. I'm getting one. Slinking in the shadows of our barley acknowledged selves, there lies an elusive suggestion so complex yet so exquisitely simple as to create a soul stealing madness in any who look too closely. Seek to keenly sulking about, awaiting the precise moment to ride up and be known, to peel flesh from bones so our flaws are exposed and we are set free. Madness comes with a price. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Hey, check this out. Oh, neat pairings. So, not only do you have pairings, like the food, so roasted quail with parsnips, oh, nice, okay. and a cheese. Valdian blue cheese. I will pass because I don't enjoy the blue cheese. Oh, well. But I'm, I'm sure I can find another cheese. I'm sure you can. <laughs> and they even a do a cigar. cigar pairing. Fratello Cigars Toro. And, better still, serve at 54 to 58 degrees. Keep cold. Drink fresh. That's intense. I don't think I've ever had an alcohol that had that many instructions for me. <laughs> but that's nice because I do like if that. you're... If you're not quite sure what to pair yeah. it at or how best to serve it, 
I feel like more should have this information on mm-hmm. there, or at least it like is. on the boxes and yeah, everything. Because like even if you don't, you know, I mean, I do love quail, but if you're not a quail fan, you know what kind of fowl quail is. So you can get something similar, like a duck, because it's going to have that more dark meat and more kind of oily greasiness to it. So, you know, like I said, I'm not a blue cheese fan, but knowing that kind of cheese, I can pair it with something very, very similar to it. So I really like that. That's that's really awesome. This is going to be very good. It's I, a neat label, too. Yeah, it is. Thank you very much, BK. Yes. Very looking forward to trying this. We are going to follow the instructions so we can get the best flavor out of this. And thank you, Sam and Maddie, for the other goodies. For our lovely cards. I really hope all of you guys had an awesome Christmas. I hope you guys are having a great new year. Mm -hmm. Definitely cannot wait to see what this new year brings. We're all going to keep in touch. And before we go and start chilling this, don't forget, leave some comments down below, especially if you've been lucky enough to try this. Uh, There should be about 1,999 others out there. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, nerdlings... We drink it. I, I mean nerd it. We, we nerd it. We're going to drink it, though. is chilled and poured and the first thing you probably noticed there's like no head to this at it all is so Ooh, yeah dark. It is. you cannot see through that thing all right it smells i know this is going to sound weird it smells <laughs> thick it does, does i does that make I can sense get that. I like when you do, smell yeah. it it's like it smells thick think of if you have something that's like syrupy, yeah, and just smelling it, you know that there's a, you know, like a consistency it's there. A, I recognize that smell, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, I'm actually getting as far as smells go, toasted marshmallow. It really does smell to me like okay, a marshmallow now I can that smell toasted marshmallow that you've cooked I, over. That's a not fire. what I was smelling before, but I can smell it now. But there's an added sweetness to it. Is there like an anise smell? I'm not getting that. So the sweetness I'm getting maybe the coconut and the spice that you're picking up on maybe the cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Not. I don't mean. I know that came out wrong. I meant. I don't mean bad as in taste bad. I meant I thought it was gonna be like. A dark, like, bitter beer. It's very smooth. I was expecting bitterness from that stout. Yes, that stout bitterness. Because you often have a bitterness with stouts. Wow. And especially with the coffee in there. That's, That's really good. The longer it sits on my tongue, I feel like I'm getting a nuttiness from the coconut. And I feel like... Maybe it's from the smell, but it's almost like I get that impression of char from the marshmallow. When you bite into that marshmallow that you just cooked over an open fire, that, you know, that carbon, I feel like I'm getting that, but it could be the smell. I could be deluding myself. It is sweet, but not too sweet. I could definitely see how this would pair with a blue cheese. That tanginess, yeah. that, that sharpness that you get from the blue cheese, follow it up with this mm. and it would mellow that out it doesn't really have a beer flavor to it no that it does mm-hmm. not it is very much like a, uh, and it looks a blended like coffee. coffee yeah of course that's bk for you he loves he loves his stouts for sure yeah now the real question is how much trouble is this going to get you in being 13.5 percent alcohol by volume i don't know how red's my face <laughs> it's getting there <laughs> I'd be very curious. I mean, I'm not a smoker and I don't want to try it with a cigar, but I'm curious <laughs> what, like, if how that changes the flavor. Because you and I have had beers before where it tasted one way and then we ate something and it very totally true. changed even the, the texture of, of the beer. It said 
to pair this with roasted quail. Mm -hmm. And you pointed out that you thought quail would be an almost oily, mm -hmm. kind of a greasy Yeah, like chicken. Fowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This would cut through it that. It really would. And it would really yeah. take away from that. Yeah. It's good though. Thanks, BK. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> oh man. And guys, just so you know, BK, he's really big, supporting the community and everything. He's always popping into live chats, checking out videos, leaving comments and stuff, hitting people up on social media. Well, so he goes, he's been going to the convention circuit lately. That so. he has. Of course, we'll leave some links in the description down below. Cheers. That's good stuff. Merry Christmas! New Year! Pecan! <laughs> Brian Kong! <laughs> you gotta get a natural one forever. <laughs> Makes the best thumbnails. <laughs>